Hello and welcome back to the Sketchpad pod. I'm Alicia and for those of you that are rejoining, yes, I have moved, which I may talk about in another video, but today I'm going to be taking you through some of my portfolio, which I used to get into CSM. I just graduated this year, so that means I applied in 2019 and I'm going to be showing you my digital portfolio. The, my digital portfolio was slightly different to my in-person portfolio, so I can talk you through that a little bit as well. For those of you that don't know, you have to submit a digital portfolio and a statement first, and then hopefully you get invited to interview, which is about 20 minutes long, and you can take your physical portfolio and anything else you'd like to take with you then. I would recommend not overdoing it on the amount of stuff you take to interview because the 20 minutes goes really, really fast. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you enjoy this video. I've got other videos looking at my A-levels and GCSEs. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay. So, to start off, I'm going to say that I can't tell you whether this is in the order that I submitted the pages. I can tell you that some of these pages will have been split into multiples when shown at interview. So, my tutor advised me to try and just pack as much in to my digital portfolio and make sure the work had breathing room uh, when they saw it in person. So the first page we're going to look at is just a very basic uh, ceramics page. You'll note that I don't put any titles or any kind of notes or descriptions. I know some other people do and I think it's fine to do that. If you do, I'd say just keep it simple, keep it to a few lines, but I decided not to and it ended up being okay. So these ceramics were made as part of the experiment stage of my foundation, so the first eight weeks, and I was just using moulds to uh, kind of get a mould of my face and then one which was where I just held the plaster in my hands and let it set and then another one of my hands um, here so it's it's not really much more to it just a little bit of experimentation but I think it looks quite nice this page was one of the first projects I did at Foundation and it was based on typography, so a little bit more of a graphic leaning um, project, which obviously going down the fine art route is not necessary, but I thought it was a successful project, so I wanted to add it in. Here you can see that I've basically photocopied sections from my sketchbook and then I've laid it out on a page and then photographed that and put it on digitally so that it's just a nice layout and I definitely did take this one to interview as well and yeah it's just a nice clean simple page and here is another one of the experimental stage projects from my foundation. It was the paper project, so we had an individual task to make a wearable item out of paper, and then we had a group task to make a sort of paper installation, both of which are shown here, and there's some process shots. And then at interview, 
I believe I split these again into two separate portfolio pages. And this is some life drawing that I did. Again, this is fine for digital, but when it went to interview, a few of these drawings are actually quite big. Most of them are the size of a portfolio page. So I believe I just took one or two of my favorites. Typically, CSM don't really care about life drawing. It's good in terms of it shows an observation and technique, but they've seen so much life drawing that it's not anything particularly new. I do, however, still really like this middle one. I was very happy with that. Um, so this is one of the pages where it's sort of an amalgamation of multiple works and if you were showing it in person you might want to break this up because this would be way too busy but because digitally you can zoom in and look at certain works it's fine <laughs> this has also got some of my a-level work in it which is a tricky choice as to whether you want to add any of your A-level work. Most people stick to just foundation. I think when I went to interview in person, I cut back a lot of the A-level work because I'd done more on my foundation by the time I went to interview. But over here, I have some collages. We've got some paintings on this side and then more sketchbook work. And then the final piece basically up the top. Yeah, I really liked this work. I believe that I may have shown just these collages in my in-person portfolio, along with some other colour work that I did later in my foundation. I have another page here, which is a mix of A-level and foundation. So at A-level I did, um, a project called distortion looking at faces and expressions not very innovative I know but at the time I was quite happy with these sketchbook pages I think they are filled with a lot of different techniques and experiments which is always good to show and then the four portrait drawings were ones that I had done during foundation again you know, nothing particularly crazy about them. I guess it shows a little bit of technique and observation, but this was not a page that I took to interview. It was more of a filler page. The next page is a collection of collages from my sketchbooks. And this was part of a series I was doing again in the experimentation phase where we were given certain topics or themes to look at and this one we'd gone to the Ashmolean Museum and the Pitt Rivers Museum on a trip and we basically had to respond to that which sort of led me into the idea of memories which still is a big part of my practice um, but yeah, you can just see some collage and some embroidery and then some mono prints. So it's just showing different variety of mediums and it also gives a good sense of how I work in my sketchbook or how I work through ideas, I suppose. Okay, and this is also part of the Ashmolean project. This is where the ideas have developed a little bit further. And again, I would say this is a page that I have added to in-person portfolio pages together. So it would be a little crowded if you put this as one portfolio page in front of someone, but um, online it's fine. So, here you can see some of the process shots. I was thinking about um, objects and object hood and I'd done some sketches from the Ashmolean Museum and 
then I decided to go with the bear like a, a talisman and it holds that kind of nostalgic power to it and so then I'm just showing a couple of the process shots of how I made one of the bears which you can see then here which I did burn the bear uh, much to a lot of people's dismay but the idea behind that was that although the bear was damaged the sentimental value of it that I had imbued by making it by hand was still there so it's kind of looking at the inherent value of an object and where it comes from and I also got these bears just from a charity shop and painted them gold as a kind of question of the aesthetic value of an object and the quote here is one that I took from an object in the Ashmolean Museum and then there's a little picture of me because why not <laughs> but yeah I think I'm happy with that page then I have a couple of pages which were from more independently led projects this is what I would call my body project where I was looking at the interior and exterior body and I was really interested in soft sculpture which I'd never done before but I just have some nice sketchbook drawings um, and you can see a little bit where I'm writing questions to myself or who I was inspired by and then this is an install shot of one of my pieces that came out of that project which I was really happy with even if it's a little bit creepy but yeah you can definitely tell that I was being inspired by Louise Bourgeois and Dorothea Tanning and that's sort of thing. At the end of that project I went on to create a much larger piece and this is just process photos so it's got some sketchbook images which kind of lays out the rough idea for it which you can see the initial sketches for this kind of body tent and then you can also see some practicing of materials of what paints to use and some swatches and then you've got a sort of step by step of the sewing and painting process and that led on to uh, these installation shots I'd say I didn't get the best photos you can't really see the work as a whole it looked quite ugly from the outside though to be fair but it was a giant tent which you could sort of go and sit in and I added a red light hence these kind of edgy vibey shots of the inside of it and yeah that was definitely a page that I showed at interview this was my favorite page at the time and when I was at interview they asked me immediately to pick out the page that had my favourite work on it and this was sitting in the middle of my portfolio and so when I pulled it to the front the tutor said mm, interesting how everyone always puts their favourite work in in the middle and not at the beginning so perhaps a suggestion to put the work you really want to talk about at the beginning and that is all of my digital portfolio I know it's quite short but I hope that it gives you a little bit of an idea maybe some inspo and just a sense of the layout and what you can do with it I'm also thinking of doing some videos on my portfolios from each year of my degree which would be more in depth it would have more annotation and I could explain the projects better to you guys so if you would be interested in seeing more of the breakdown of assessments and portfolios within an arts degree definitely let me know I'd be really happy to do that thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one